This lesson is on adding and subtracting integers. So we're going to start with some easy numbers, some whole numbers, some integers, etc. Um, but when you are adding two real numbers together, I really just want you to remember two rules. And they're kind of easy to remember because they rhyme. So same sum, and of course the other one is different difference. So same sum means if I have two values and I'm finding the sum, the sum meaning I'm adding them together. If I'm finding the sum and the values are the same, I'm going to add those values together and give it the common sign. So notice here I have 4 and 7. That adds to 11. Over here, negative 4 and negative 7, those have the same negative sign. I add 4 and 7 to get 11 and give them the same sign, negative. If they are different signs, so if it's an addition problem but the two signs are different, a negative 4, positive 7, I'm going to find the difference between 4 and 7. So I'm not going to worry about the negative. Let's say the difference between 4 and 7 is 3. My bigger number has a positive sign, and therefore my answer here is positive. Whereas over here, I have 4 and negative 7. The difference between 4 and 7 is 3. And then I look at the bigger number has a negative sign, and so my answer is negative. We're going to try these together. So first one, negative 3 plus negative 11. I've got two values that are the same sign, so I add them together to get 14 and give them the common sign. For my second question, negative 2 plus 8, these are different signs, a negative 2, a positive 8. The difference between 2 and 8 is 6. My bigger number is 8, and that value is positive, so my answer is positive. 5 plus negative 9, different signs, so I find the difference between 5 and 9, which is 4. In this case, my 9 is the bigger number, and that answer is negative, and so my, my answer is also negative. And my last one, 14 plus 34, these are both positives. They have the same sign, so I just find the sum, and when I add them together, I get 48. The good news is you don't have a lot of rules to remember with subtraction, as long as you know your rules for addition and one additional rule. And that additional rule is KFC, or you'll sometimes hear me refer to it as Ching Ching because my students, um, when I was teaching high school, learned Ching Ching, which helped them to remember that there's two changes. So change, change, which they turned into Ching Ching. So KFC, or Ching Ching, KFC means keep flip change, which means when you have a subtraction, you're going to keep the first sign the same, you're going to uh, flip subtraction to addition, and then you're going to change whatever sign follows the formerly subtraction sign. So A minus B turns into A plus negative B. Or again, if you are ching ching, that means change the sign, change the sign. So it's two changes in a row. So here's a couple of examples, negative 4, and then ching ching gives me negative 4 plus negative 3. Now those are, now I'm just going back to my rule, same sum, different difference. So these are the same sign, the sum is 7, they're both negative, so my answer is negative. Or my second one, keep, flip, change. That gives me negative 9 plus 5, which gives me negative 4. So here are some for us to try together. Again, all of these are going to start as subtraction, so I'm going to keep, flip, change. So negative 3, and then I'm going to keep, flip, change. So now it's negative 3 plus positive 11. These now have different signs. This is negative, this is positive. Their difference is 8. Bigger number is positive now, so my answer is positive. For my second one, keep, flip, change, negative 2 plus negative 8. These are now the same sign. So same sign means find the sum and give it the common sign of negative, so negative 10. For my next one, 5 minus negative 9. Again, keep, flip, change. So that's 5 plus 9. So that is 14. They're the same sign, so I just found the sum. And the last one, keep, flip, change gives me 14 plus negative 34. These are now different signs, so I find the difference, which is 20. My bigger number is negative, so my answer is negative.